A 10 card hand is dealt from a well shuffled 52 card deck. Let the random variable x be the number of jacks in the hand. Find the probability mass function of x. So over here we're going to write the probability mass function. And in the last example we wrote the support separately. But now what we're going to do is we're going to write the support out here. And the question is how many jacks can you get in a 10 card hand? Well you can get no jacks, one jack, two jacks, three jacks. At most four is the number of jacks that you can get in a 10 card hand. So the next challenge is going to be finding f of x. And in this case since uh, the order that the cards are dealt is not an issue, we use combinations and there are 52, choose 10 different hands that are out there um, consisting of 10 cards. Then for the numerator we want to know how many of those 52 choose 10 different uh, hands that can be dealt, how many of those contain exactly x jacks. So up top we say out of the four jacks that are in the uh, deck of cards choose x of them for the hand and that needs to be multiplied by out of the 48 non-jacks that are out there, 10 minus x is the number that you want to choose. And again, order is not important. Notice that the 4 and the 48 add to 52, and the x and the 10 minus x add to 10. And you see that, uh, that, that pattern emerging uh, often in problems of this type. Now, if we are being very careful, and we're not being very careful here, but if we were, we would also come down here and say zero otherwise. But in the textbook and in these notes as well, I'm going to leave this zero otherwise out. So we will write f of x in this fashion with support and we'll just always assume zero otherwise. Now on the next page, if you want to plot that probability mass function, this is again our code and we set the vector x to uh, 0 through 4. Those are the uh, support values. Then we have 4 choose x times 48 choose 10 minus x up top divided by 52 choose 10. This time we're using the choose function here rather than writing them out as factorials. And then we use the same plot command from the previous example. And here is the probability mass function of the number of jacks in a 10 card hand. Most of the time you're going to get no jacks or one jack and then occasionally you'll get two, three and then a tiny fraction of the time all four will show up in the uh, hand.